This lesson deals with supplemental problem 313. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the chapter 3 supplemental problem starting on page 13. The SPICE program and the PSPICE program has a feature that allows the user to vary a DC voltage or a DC current source over a range of values. In PSPICE we use the graphical output interface called Probe, plot our results, and it's going to take the swept voltage and put it on the x-axis. Let's go back and look at example 313, which is on pages 59 to 60 of the chapter 3 class notes, and let's show that the circuit and its Thevenin equivalent are indeed that, they are equivalent. So we're going to remove the load, which you call it circuit L, and put a voltage source there, and then vary it for both circuits and show that I get the same results. Let's just go from 0 to 6 volts, and let's put at least 200 data points on the screen so we get a nice smooth plot. And we'll plot the uh, voltage and current of the output terminals for both circuits, and we'll compare the results. So the two circuits in the yellow box are the ones in that example, and I'm taking the load off and putting a voltage source here, and I'm going to vary it. I'm going to plot the voltage and the current for this circuit, and then also for the Thevenin equivalent. Now if you recall in writing a SPICE file, you have to have a title and a dot end, and then we describe the schematic here in between, although this can be put in any order. First thing I do is pick a reference node and call that ground. So I pick this, which is the negative terminal of my test voltage. Then I have one, two, three, four other nodes, and you can number them or label them, put them in any order you want. I just numbered them sequentially, so I call this one one, two, three, and four. A voltage source has to begin with the letter V, and I call this one V1. It's between the plus node and the minus node, which in this case is one and zero, and a value of 15. The value can be negative, but the first node is positive, the second node is negative. So that's this one right here. For a current source, we have to label the tail first and then the tip. And the reason for this is that SPICE assumes that every element absorbs power. So current will be coming in the plus terminal going out the minus. The current source has to be got the letter I, called this I1. And it's between nodes 2 and 4 with a value of 2 milliamps. Uppercase or lowercase m means the same thing. If I were to put 4 first and 2 second, I'd have put a minus 2 milliamps here. The resistors in my circuit have to begin with the letter R. I call them R1, R2, R3, and R4. They just have to have a unique name. Resistor R1 is between nodes 1 and 2, or 2 and 1, and has a value of 3K. So here's my R1. Now, labeling node 1 first, when SPICE is asked to calculate a current for this resistor, you'll find it from 1 to 2. So you can put these in any order, but when you ask for the plotting of a current, or the value of a current, you'll find it in that direction, from first node to second node. They get a passive sign convention. So here's um, R2. I put it between nodes 2 and 4, R3 between 2 and 3, and R4 between 4 and ground. And lastly, I have my voltage source here. I call it V-test. I'm going to look at the current going into the plus terminal, because that's the default notation for SPICE, although I can turn it around. The value for V-test, I left blank here, but the default is 0. Then the DC sweep command begins with dot DC, and then you give the name of the voltage or current source you want to vary. In this case, I'm going to vary V-test. I want to vary it from, say, 0 to 6 volts. I want to put at least 200 points on the screen. I'll do this for both circuits, and I showed the work here on the bottom. We'll take the uh, end point minus the start point and divide it by 200. That gives me 30 millivolts. So putting the value here, it's going to take an increment from 0 to 6 volts in 30 millivolt steps. The value of this is always positive, the increment. So if this was a negative number, it's simply going to start at the start point and go to the end point. Dot probe is a command for a piece spice that takes our output file and creates a graphical um, interface. The results are shown on the next page. If you go to the EC201 homepage, it talks about how to run the program. So here's a plot of the current, I test versus V test. And you can see it's a straight line. Said in the theory that the slope here is uh, minus 1 over R7. But you can see the endpoint here is at 0 amps is 6 volts, and you can see that the current here is uh, somewhere between uh, 600 and 700 microamps. Go look at the uh, second circuit, the Thevenin equivalent. Exactly the same graph with exactly the same points here and really any point in between. There's a command called cursor that you can put on a specific point. You can also plot these on top of each other, and you can see that they actually exactly overlay. And so to be equivalent means that you have the same current for the same voltage, no matter what the value is. There's one more thing I wanted to point out here at the bottom of page 13, the format of the DC sweep. I mentioned it briefly here, but so it begins with dot DC. You give the sweep variable, the start point, the end point, and the increment. And this is Supplemental Problem 313.